Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another CBMSBC virtual capabilities briefing with our guest today from Golden Tech. I'm your host and moderator, VK Fields, with the PR Pros team. We have another informative session planned for you today with Mr. Pushpinda Garcha. As a reminder, all of our audience participant lines are automatically muted. However, you can submit a question using the question box feature in the GoToWebinar dashboard on your screen. Also, today's session is being recorded and will be available for you to review later and share with your colleagues. You can view the recording from the CVMSDC website at cvmsdc.org slash webinars. Now, I am pleased to introduce our CVMSDC president and CEO, Dominique Milton, to open up today's session. Good afternoon, Dominique. Good afternoon, and thank you so much, VK. I am excited to introduce to everyone today Pushpinder Garcha, the CEO and president of Golden Tech Systems Incorporated. Um, Pushpinder has an MS in computer science from the University of North Charlotte. He has top security clearance and over 20 years of industry experience. A recent graduate of the FBI Citizens Academy, and he recently expanded his footprint to add five corporate accounts to his business, including Duke Energy, Wells Fargo, Ally Financial, Naval Information Warfare Center, Atlantic, U.S. Navy, and U.S. Air Force. With over 20 years of hands-on experience in the software industry, his, ex his experience includes design, development, implementation, testing stages, and deployment of project lifecycle using cloud, cyber, and DevSecOps domains. He is passionate about giving back to the community and empowering people. And one thing that we have in common is that we both love golf. So welcome, Pushpinder, to the VCB. Thank you so much, Dominique, for your kind words. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to take a second to thank uh, CBMSDC for giving Golden Tech this platform. Uh, it is incredibly powerful for small businesses, especially minority-owned companies, to get that level of exposure. So thank you again, uh, and um, uh, I hope that I can share some of my, um, my struggles, uh, successes with you. Uh, and be able to answer any questions. So um, sounds good. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds good. We're going to change the format a little bit today, Pushpinder. I'm going to stay on with you and just ask you some questions as we go through. Um, okay. Since your your information is quite technical, I want to make sure that our audience understands it at just a very elementary level and how um, you can benefit your customer base. So um, for all of our listeners, this is our virtual capability briefing session. It is open to any of our certified MBEs for you to be able to capture your business products and services on video and you, you then own it and you have it on your website, we have it on our website and we send it out to our corporate partners. So without further ado, I'm gonna ask you Pushpinder to give us an overview of our corporations. We can go through your slides and then we'll just have some back and forth with, with the questions, okay? Sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, so, um, always, um, I like to start off with a 30 second elevator pitch on who Golden Tech is and kind of uh, lead in with that. So, uh, Golden Tech is a systems integrator firm, and what we do is build digital capabilities. Uh, and this could include capabilities for the warfighter or for our customers, but at every single point, our mission is focused on the customer. Uh, we specialize in three domains, uh, and as Dominique mentioned, uh, it's cloud, cybersecurity, and DevSecOps. Uh, Golden Tech uh, was founded in 2007. We are actually headquartered in the Queen City, um, uh, um, located uptown. Um, we are um, a cleared DOD contractor. We have, um, like Dominique mentioned, we have contracts with the U.S. Air Force, Navy in addition to um, significant commercial footprint. Um, we um, are, you know, from a certification standpoint, um, we've got, um, uh, we're aligned with the CVMSDC. Uh, we're also a hub zone uh, firm, and we have an SBA 8A classification. Um, uh, you know, we'll be delving into some uh, core capabilities of the slides, uh, but from a, at a very high level, we are responsible for assisting our customer meet their mission requirements. 
uh, whether it's the warfighter um, or it's the you know the lineman um, assisting um, you know making sure the power service uh, stays on. Um, so um, moving on, um, uh, so yep, right there. So kind of this is what we lead with. We're a systems integrator firm. Um, we can do everything from uh, software sustainment to database design, application architecture, uh, cybersecurity. Uh, and, you know, uh, from a national security posture, you know, we support critical weapons platforms and be proud to be able to be a small company, but at the same time be able to add value to the mission of the warfighter. And we take that seriously. So over the next couple of slides, I'm going to, you know, uh, we, you know, purposely segmented our uh, presentation into uh, DOD specific domains and then uh, uh, commercial on the cloud and utility sector. Okay, good. So here you're talking about your contract with the Air Force Base? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's, let's understand a, an example. Wonderful. So our um, so this is a, a, a contract with uh, the U.S. Air Force, um, uh, and we are providing personnel on base at Hill Air Force Base in Utah. Our customer is the Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center, uh, and we are directly supporting Global Strike. Uh, for those of you all uh, that do not know Global Strike, it is... Um, it's it's part of the nuclear triad. Uh, so we support the Minuteman 3 platform, which is the ICBM um, um, weapon system. Uh, the other two are, you know, the Trident uh, submarine launched um, platform, and then there's um, the, the free fall um, uh, platforms. Uh, but at a high level, um, you know, we are supporting the IMDB program. Uh, again, parts of this are, um, you know, it's a DOD program, so at a very uh, high level. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are supporting them from a systems uh, administration standpoint and providing cybersecurity services. Uh, and just kind of uh, focusing on cyber, um, you know, a, a lot of times, you know, when we think of cyber, we just think of, you know, having an antivirus on your, you know, workstation or what have you. But uh, in the last four to five years, cybersecurity has assumed such a remarkable uh, posture um, from a national security standpoint because there's so much damage that can be done. Um, when your systems are not secured. So uh, we are proud to be able to provide ISSM services to the program and basically allow them to get an ATO, which uh, stands for authorization to operate uh, through uh, RMF. And RMF is a, you know, it's a paradigm for using processes and procedures to um, get that level of authorization to basically uh, say that the system is, you know, QA or verified. And it's, it's right. cyber resilient. Um, so that's that's a big deal, Push Pender. That's like, if you can do it for the Air Force, you can do it for anyone. How did you feel when you first got your first Air Force contract? I was driving. Uh, I got a call from the local SBA office, uh, and they said, you know, we we have um, um we have some news for you, and I could not believe it. And I was like, wait, stop. So I actually kind of slowed, <laughs> pulled over to the side. <laughs> I spoke, uh, uh, and I was like, wow. So I had to pinch myself a few times, but I was. Uh, very grateful. Uh, it, it was a lot of hard work, um, you mm -hmm. know, to be able to. So you have to present your capabilities to the customer, sure. and by that, you know, you don't know a lot about the program because again, they're all classified. You just know a little bit, but you have mm -hmm. to be able to tailor your requirements and your pro your capabilities to what adds to the mission of the customer. So we were extremely grateful, honored, and honestly happy that you know we got a chance uh, and um, uh, we hope that this allows us to go after more programs bigger programs and um, honestly be able to support the warfighter because that, that's uh, that's crucial to you know continuing um, uh, our posture as you know the leader uh, of the free world excellent awesome so give us some examples of how you have supported our corporate clients Wonderful. Uh, and uh, the next two slides kind of like, you know, um, uh, talk uh, about that at, at a much higher level. So um, we have um, a relationship with Duke Energy, again, as a subcontract, I want to point that out. Um, and uh, the next slide, we'll talk about Ally, but, I, you know, so those are uh, two of our customers that we would like to showcase. Um, so with Duke Energy, our relationship goes back to uh, about 2004. Uh, so we've been providing them um, uh, software or professional services uh, that span um, uh, all across from nuclear engineering to IT to transmission distribution um, slash smart grid areas. So we are proud to be able to um, 
be aligned with a leader um, which has the largest nuclear fleet in the country uh, and probably see it through about three, uh, I believe three mergers uh, and acquisitions. So, um, uh, you know, we have done everything from application architecture services, um, IT uh, development, support analyst, you name it. So it's been, a, you know, a pretty large, uh, uh, long duration of engagement, and we have been able to assist uh, in, in several platforms going from asset management tools um, on the nuclear side, which includes systems like Ventix Asset Suite to um, uh, Maximal uh, based products, which are, uh, you know, used on the non-nuclear side. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a learning experience and we have been able to sort of use uh, our expertise uh, and find ways in which we can, you know, sort of uh, segment that into our federal um, uh, um, workspace. Because a lot of times what you learn on the commercial side is a, a, about two to four years more, um, I mean, newer than what you will have on the federal side. Mm -hmm. So you know, we were that, that was kind of a boon for us because we were able to use that and quickly share that uh, and translate that into capabilities that can help the warfighter. Okay. So uh, uh, yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been a fruitful endeavor um, and we hope to be able to continue to provide um, services to Duke Energy uh, in uh, the years to come. Okay, so share with me the ally example. Okay, uh, so with Ally, uh, you know, it's been a, a slightly shorter, uh, you know, engagement, um, about four years in the making. Um, we have provided resources, again, as a subcontractor uh, that helped, you know, all the way again through another merger uh, when Trade King was acquired by Ally. So everything from, you know, uh, a full stack development that included uh, ASP.NET, Angular, uh, JS, and so on. So we, again, were able to plug in uh, resources uh, that were, able to be uh, embedded into the product teams uh, and run uh, with the, the current sprint cycles and be able to add value to the customer. Um, okay. For both Duke and Ally, we'd be happy to provide references. Uh, we have not indicated that just um, because it's gonna be a public document. Uh, but yep, we have um, uh, past performance, which is verifiable. And uh, truly, you know, the, the fact that, you know, we get, uh, we are able to add value is proven by the fact that we get our contracts are not just one-year contracts, but they keep getting extended. They keep getting renewed. So, you know, I heard you say something twice, right? You were a contractor on both of these projects. And I know from being an MBE myself, you know, you're a contractor like tier two, sometimes tier three, tier three, you're doing the same work, right? And you're proving yourself, but you want to get that opportunity to have a direct contract. Talk to me about that and the challenges that you faced. That has been an uphill challenge, uh, and it continues to be an uphill challenge. But you know what? For me, every challenge is an opportunity to succeed. Um, I tell my wife this, I'm not afraid of failing. You know, I will fail a thousand times before I give up. Actually, more than that. Because it's okay to fail. You tried. Um, eventually, the customer will see value. Uh, and like you just pointed out yourself, I, I lead. Uh, you know, I don't want to say, you know, we have bragging rights now what we lead with our, our experience. I do not start with the fact that, hey, I'm a company, I'm an MBE, or I have like, I look like this. No, I start with the fact that we are providing mission critical services that directly support Global Strike or national security uh, uh, platforms. Uh, and that needs to ring a bell in the minds of our customers that the Air Force uh, is willing to give us a chance uh, and uh, you know use our services for that kind of work we can do a pretty darn good job when it comes to uh, commercial contracts. I'm not saying, you know, you know, it's less, more, whatever, but I'm just giving you an example which says we have capabilities. And I always like to differentiate capabilities from competencies because, you know, it's, we have competencies as well because anyone is capable of doing stuff. But exactly. when you've done that stuff a hundred times, that makes you competent. competent. So we leave with that. I'm glad you. I'm glad you said that because I was, my, my next question was like, what set you apart? Why would I call Golden Tech over another company? Um, and it's based on your competencies, right? What else would that? What else would you say? So apart from that, you know, we focus deeply on a work ethic. Um, when we place personnel uh, at a client site, we ensure that you know they will a succeed, and we give them all the tools to succeed. Uh, so we're not a body shop that just throws people at a problem. 
Uh, now there are companies who do that. I got nothing against that. But we are a small business, so for us, every person counts, and we make sure we give them a platform where they can understand, constantly up upgrade themselves, and be able to deliver. Um, so that's our key differentiator, and we are in the process of getting our CMMI Level Three certification. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so that will give us an added sort of uh, you know certificate to show that you know, hey we can deliver. And by the way, we're also appraised at CMMI Level Three. Um, which shows and should create a, a greater level of confidence in the minds of the customer in terms of you just don't deliver solutions, they're solutions which stand the test of time. So cyber resilient, you know, we can deliver lethal capability where required uh, from, you know, our DOD programs and, and just give us a chance, uh, uh, talk to us, share with us the requirements and we'll tell you how we can add value. And I, and I also, when we were chatting earlier, I heard you say that all of your um, professionals are U.S. based. Yes, ma'am. So we are. Um, uh, I'd like to start with that. So we have a DoD secret clearance. You do not get a secret clearance if you have um, um, uh, personnel that are based overseas. Again, you can have OCONUS personnel uh, if you're working on a Department of State contract, say in Bahrain or Dubai or something. But there will still be U.S. personnel working on a U.S. project off U.S. territory. Uh, so we're all U.S. based. In fact, uh, you know, we we support veterans. Thirty percent of our workforce is former U.S. Army, uh, nice. and we, that's a way in which we give back. Um, uh, I personally uh, came to the country as an immigrant, so for me to be able to give back, create opportunity, create those platforms to people who have given their all to us is indeed, you know, it's a very humbling experience. And I want to make sure that I can tell them, no, you can do better than this. So for me, that's how I'm giving back and, and creating value. So they start here, but I make sure they, they get to this level uh, because everyone can improve. Things can get better for everyone. So that, okay. that's, that's how I give back. Okay. Let's go on to your next slide. So I'll let you finish your slides and I'll get back to some more questions. Cool. Uh, so this kind of like, um, you know, pulls everything together uh, from a standpoint of, uh, you know, core competency. So uh, I started off with cloud and cyber but we do a lot of work with Agile and safe technologies. And again, Agile is basically the new buzzword. Uh, you want to do stuff really fast, 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 because the customer does not want to stay um, uh, and wait for about 18 months to see the first uh, homepage of your web application. They want to see things fast. To give you an example, uh, you know, commercial entities have started using this, uh, but the Air Force is, you know, spearheading that initiative. They have a program called Kessel Run in which they're able to give uh, you know, ATOs, continuous ATOs to platforms and programs in as less as, as 45 days, which is unheard of. And that is only possible because of using Agile and DevSecOps. You know, you can quickly convert technology into capability, and that capability can be in the hands of the warfighter or the operator. But can you imagine, you know, you go from a conception of an idea to actually weaponizing it in about less than 45 days. So that is that that is the strength of agile and DevSecOps. Uh, to add to that, you know, we we've, we've done work with uh, custom app development, uh, uh, software sustainment services, but then it gets always geared at adding value to the customer. Okay. Uh, so here, uh, you know, so I I, I kind of want to put this slide in here because you know. Um, I want to show our customer why, why pick us? Um, because you know, I think mm -hmm. that's uh, you know a, a primal question in, in our minds. You know, why do something? Why pick Golden Tech? So, um, in addition to our technical capabilities, we bring a deep uh, sense of QA and uh, commitment. So, we want to make sure our our products are not just they don't work; they work tomorrow, the day after that. In five years, they're still working, and the only reason they stopped working is because the operating system had to be patched or something else. But we make systems, uh, or we support them in a way that keeps them sustainable. To that point, we we are uh, we in the process of getting our le level three appraisal uh, with CMMI. We will also be getting our ISO 9000 and 27000 calls um, uh, uh, in this year itself. Um, as Dominic pointed out, you know, we are a 100% U.S.-based um, company. Um, okay. All our personnel are U.S. Um, I mean, on the commercial side, we, we might have folks who are not U.S. citizens, 
but we don't have any offshore operations per se. Everyone is located in the 50 states. So Push Pender, when should somebody call you? When they're in the design phase or when they need to fix a problem? Or both? Both. Actually, you know, if, if you have a problem, you know, I like to go in and say that we try to solve problems. We try to give sleep factor to the program managers because everyone has a problem because uh, unless you have a problem, you're not growing. And we come in there, try to understand the problem. We give you uh, comparative examples of, you know, past experiences we've had and use that as a way. So I, I never try and go and sell stuff, you know, like, hey, buy this, buy this. We got this program. You can go platinum, you know, or gold or silver. We go in with solutions and explain to them, this is what we did. And this is how successful our approach was at this location, at this customer, at this site. And let them make reference calls and check. And, and we start with that. We start with our past performance, which is proven and is verifiable. Okay. So for the layman out there, when what is broken, I need to call Golden Tech. Gosh. <laughs> uh, when you are about to start on a on a project to you know bring in a COTS package to change your HR system or get a new learning management tool. Uh, you know, and you need to, uh, for us to come in there, configure your system, make sure it talks to all of the systems in your ecosystem. We are a great fit for that. But if it's uh, time for you to replace something or provide, you know, continuing ongoing support, we are also willing to understand how we can do that. All right, great. So what keeps you up at night, Pushbender? Oh boy, um, COVID. <laughs> And it's not, and it's not a bad thing. COVID has uh, has brought up about keep, you know, uh, you know, things that we didn't know we could do. Right. Um, so uh, to give you an example, um, our contract at Hill Air Force Base, um, and and it's 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 interesting, you know, the speed at which things work. So on Monday, uh, March 17th, uh, we decided to go, you know, basically ask our workers to start working remotely, uh, you know, and talk talking to the customers and saying, you know, we need to pull them back. Uh, the Air Force was a little different, you know, people were like hesitant, but I think within 24 hours, I got a call and said, you know, we are going remote because the base is going to, you know, level two uh, uh, health condition. Mm. So within about a week or so, our personnel were given laptops uh, to work remotely. Again, they have to be specialized laptops just because you'll be accessing uh, uh, critical systems. But uh, COVID has uh, uh, created a tremendous opportunity for growth. Uh, for innovation, uh, you know, and you, you, you've seen it, you know, how, how platforms like, you know, the, this go to meeting or mm -hmm. Zoom, or other platforms have almost taken over. So, you know, I'm always trying to see how we can make things better. Uh, what are the things that are not just broken, but could break and we can actually, uh, you know, find an opportunity to help our um, customer. That's good. That's good. And I'm glad to hear that you said that you made that pivot so your whole entire team can work remotely to be able to satisfy your customers' needs. Tell yes, me, who is the ideal customer for you? Um, our ideal customer would be someone, uh, you know, a, a small to mid-range company. Uh, it, it could go all the way up to, you know, um, a DOD level agency that has that has is seeing problems in their in their processes, in their software, in, in their you know methodology, uh, where we can come in and help them automate systems, improve systems, uh, make them more efficient. Okay. All right. So where do you see Golden Tech going over the next five years? Oh boy, yeah, it's um. So we're poised for growth. Um, uh, we have um, been um, making a lot of uh, you know outreach into federal agencies, uh, specifically in Department of State, uh, within the Army Futures Command. Uh, and again, this is all based on our perceived uh, needs uh, on how we see we can add to their mission areas. So we mm -hmm. see ourselves growing uh, several times over in the next five years and having a very healthy portfolio of um, federal agencies on uh, the public sector. And then again, uh, some civilian agencies out there, but also continue to you know, add value to the local you know, Charlotte-based um, uh, uh, um, um, entities. Okay, so um, VK, do we have any questions for Pushpender in the audience? Uh, I will remind the audience that if you have a question that you'd like to submit, you can use the questions box in your GoToWebinar dashboard. Right now, we have just one pending question for him, and that is, what other growing industries on the horizon 
are you interested in doing business? We do not limit ourselves uh, to any specific industry. Um, uh, we can bring our experience and we've seen that it, it's actually very easy to translate um, platforms that we built for the linemen uh, to assist uh, the warfighter in the field. So uh, no project project is small enough for us. We are always open to listen to our customer and trying to help them. That, that's our mission, to help our customers. Okay, thank you. We had an additional question come in. Uh, is artificial intelligence within your capabilities? Yes, ma'am, uh, we do. Uh, so we uh, have, um, we actually are standing up a fourth leg of capability, and that is data sciences and emerging technology. Uh, we have uh, verified use cases uh, where we've used machine learning algorithms to help identify, uh, you know, specific um, uh, tactical data elements across a large data set. Uh, we've also used predictive analytics on a different platform to help, um, you know, identify buy versus build kind of um, use cases. So the short answer is yes. Um, we know uh, machine learning is where the future is, and um, we are standing right behind it. That's great because we're starting an AI chat group, so we're going to pull you into that chat group, Pushbinder. All right. Anything else, PK, on your end? That was the last question. Sounds good. Thank you to our audience for joining us. Pushbinder, do you have any closing comments before I close out? Hey, ma'am, I just wanted to thank everyone again. Uh, our contact information uh, is on the slides in the last page. Uh, feel free to reach out um, if you know of any cases uh, or eight other cust customers that could benefit from our capabilities. We would be glad to help. Um, and in general, you know, I'm always open for a friendly discussion on pretty much anything under the planet. Hey, thank you so much for sharing your capabilities with us today, Pushbender. And to our audience, again, thank you for joining us. It is, this information is for you. Again, it will be shared on uh, Pushpinder's website. It will be shared on our website as well as sent to our customers. If you are interested in participating in the VCB, please email us at info at cvmsdc.org. Please visit our calendar every week for updated information on events. And please save the date for December 2nd and 3rd. We will have our year-end conference. It's a combination of our Business Opportunity Conference, which is our largest conference of the year, and our MBE Summit. We've combined them together for an event called Re-Emerge. We have some dynamic speakers for you. We'll have matchmaking opportunities, an award ceremony, and a lot of fun. So I hope to see each of you there. Our registration should be opening it up in about another month. But again, visit our website on a weekly basis. Make sure that you are also registered for our newsletter that comes out three times a week and follow us on social media. Thank you all for being here. Take care, Pushpender. And thank Thanks. you, VK. Thank you.